Hi folks, in this video I am going to show you what to do if Microsoft has either forced Windows 10 onto your machine uh, or surprised you with it, however you want to express that, or if uh, you're finding that the offer for Windows 10 is uh, too much nagging or it actually says it's going to install and you don't want it to. I'm going to show you how to solve all those issues. Okay. So the first thing uh, to take care of, of course, is if Windows 10 has already gotten on your machine uh, and it's within 30 days, okay, what you can do is click on the Windows 10 Start button, go to Settings, okay, and under Settings, uh, the last item, you might have to scroll down for it, it says Update and Security. You want to click on that and you want to click on Recovery. Now on this machine uh, that I have in front of me here, the 30 days has passed. But on your machine, if 30 days has not passed, there will be a, uh, a bit in the middle here that basically says uh, roll back to Windows 7 or Windows 8. Right? So you can click the button there and it will undo everything that it has done. And uh, it'll warn you about certain things, like you have to remember your password, whatever it used to be, and that anything that you've installed since the update is going to disappear. So it's like a giant restore point. Your computer will be put back to how it was, and anything new that you've done uh, in terms of software getting installed or you know settings perhaps in your email or something will be wiped out. But your data should be totally normal, right? Any pictures or documents you've saved should be fine. So uh, that's the area to go into for that. Now, this here is an actual Windows 7 machine. And if I click on the little Get Windows 10 thing here, we'll see uh, you know, the typical Microsoft advertisement thing. Uh, this particular screen isn't too aggressive. Um, for example, on a client's machine today, I actually saw a countdown. Your machine will be upgrading in 57 minutes and 13 seconds, 12 seconds, that kind of thing. So uh, it can be quite startling, with particularly because it was a business machine and she had no intention or desire to upgrade to Windows 10 and she hadn't uh, proved it. Right? So, um, so let's fix that. What you're going to do, uh, the best way that I found to truly control this issue is this software called GWX Control Panel. All right, it's free software, and you can get it. Here's the uh, URL, and I'll, I'll paste that into the description below the video on YouTube. It's ultimateoutsider.com forward slash downloads forward slash. Hit enter. Type that into your address bar, right, and uh, you'll get to this page. So uh, they have a standalone and they have an installer, I would suggest, for ease of use and uh, because it allows you to add in a little monitor that will keep Windows 10 at bay if, if uh, it tries to crawl back in. Uh, click on Download Installer. Okay, you want to save the file. And if you're in Firefox, that download will be in the upper right here when it's done. So you can click there and click on the file. And of course, you want to run it, All right? We're going to click on next, next, and we're going to click on keep that little box checked. Run GWX Control Panel and accept the license agreement. Click Continue. Okay, so here's the fun stuff. Let me close the browser so it's not distracting us there. And uh, let's pull this up here. Now it wants to that wants to stay on top. I just want it up so that you can watch it disappear. That's part of the fun here. So I'm just pulling it down so it's out of the way of the control panel here. Okay, so you see that it actually gives you some information about the status of your machine, your Windows 7 or Windows 8 machine vis-a-vis -vis the Windows 10 uh, forced upgrade Microsoft thing. So uh, is the window get Windows 10 icon app running? Yes, you know. Uh, you know, it, here's uh, there's certain files that have been downloaded. There's a Windows 10 download folder found on this machine. Um, so 
these buttons down at the bottom are where you can start to control what's happening. So first button on the top left, click to disable Get Windows 10 app. So that says in brackets, remove icon. We're going to click on that. And you see that disappears and the Windows 10 icon is no longer there. Oh, bless it. Right? So um, now here in the next one, we can click to delete the Windows 10 download folders, right? So that's a little, the, this will, this is only 140.3 megabyte on this system, but uh, the normal full install of it's all downloaded is 3 point something gigabyte, I believe. So that's quite a lot of room, um, even on today's large drive. So uh, warning, you know, this will delete the files in the hidden Windows 10 download folder. Of course, we want to do that. Okay, so um, now the third one is to click to change Windows Update settings. Okay, so uh, you know they have their own recommendations here. Uh, generally, people have install updates automatically, right? Um, you can say uh, probably the most reasonable thing if you want to monitor your updates yourself. Check for updates, but let me choose whether to, la to download them and install them. All right, and you may want to uncheck this give me recommended updates the same way I receive important updates because, uh, you know, of course, the, the important updates are all the security fixes, etc. But recommended updates, well, hey, Microsoft may recommend that you download the Windows 10 uh, upgrade path, right? And uh, if you have that checked off, you're more at risk for Microsoft sneaking things in that they just recommend. So uh, you may want to uncheck that, right? Um, if you like your updates, your security updates to come in automatically, leave it on install updates automatically, but uncheck the recommended bit. And then you can always go in and see uh, what they are recommending and whether you want it or not. But you'll be assured that you'll get the security updates. Okay, so let's click OK on that one. All right, so update settings have been done. Now uh, we have a click to disable non-critical Windows 10 settings. Okay, so this is a little bit of further cleanup that you can do. Uh, I don't see any harm in doing so, so we'll go ahead and click on that. And um, there is a user guide here at the very bottom on the left. Uh, you know, of course, I'm showing you the kinds of things that you may want to do. By all means, uh, check out the user guide if you want to get more details than this video provides. So now here we can click to prevent Windows 10 upgrades. So let's go ahead and do that. All right. And click to delete Windows 10 programs. All right. So this feature deletes the following kinds of Microsoft authored files from your computer. Programs that notify you about upgrading to Windows 10, etc, etc, etc. We'll go ahead and say yes. Okay. Now, uh, if you're really paranoid and you want to just reset Windows Update, you can go ahead and clear the Windows Update cache. Okay. So if we click on that, you'll see there's a things that you should know. Um, if you do that, uh, the, the next time you run Windows Update, it'll look like it's the first time that you've run it. It will take longer than usual because it's going to have to rebuild its database. And uh, your view update history will be empty, but you'll still be able to install, or I should say uninstall, um, previous updates. It just resets the history log. And if you've gone in to Windows Update and hidden any items so that they don't come up and you know prompt you to be installed uh, you'll have to go back in and rehide those. Um, I'm going to pretend I'm really paranoid about the system and I'm going to go ahead and click yes so you can see what that's like so right now it's clearing the cache and depending on of course how long the cache is um, it can take a bit of time uh, but that wasn't too long. 5,265 files, right? And, uh, you know, all the warnings have been noted. Now, one of the coolest things about this program is they have a monitor mode, okay? So uh, it, they'll add an icon down here, run in the background every time your computer starts, and it will just 
uh, keep an eye on things and make sure that uh, Windows 10 doesn't try to sneak back in. So let's go ahead and click on that. All right. And then you see that uh, the monitor is enabled for all user users and now running. And it says blue icon with the number 10 on it at the bottom here that we see. So if we close this here, you can always get back to the control panel easily from the monitor icon by double clicking on it. Okay, and you can see uh, what your status is vis-a-vis -vis, uh, Windows 10 sneaking into your system. Okay, so uh, hopefully this has helped you um, with that quick, you know, within 30 days rollback thing if Windows 10 did sneak onto your system. And certainly if uh, you're tired of closing that Microsoft advertisement or if you're freaking out because Windows 10 is has scheduled itself to install and you don't want it to go in, um, this is the way, the best way that I know how uh, at this point to uh, clear that up and make sure things are the way you want them to be. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe.